What's the fastest way to lose all of your friends? Start critiquing them on all their flaws. All the time, every time. Edit, just realized my username checks out lol. I have a friend that does this. Critiques everything I do and is just a general asshole. Becoming homeless will cause most normal people to drop you pretty fast. If that doesn't work staying at their place for more than a few days should finish the job. Asterisk asterisk edit asterisk asterisk thanks for the gold kind stranger. I lost a friendship that way. Though it wasn't because he was living on my couch it was because he was living on my couch. Eat my food. Play my games. Never leave. Never tried to get work. Nothing. I had three other roommates at a certain point it was him or me. Go camping without GPS or a compass. And no knowledge of where the sun rises, sets. Get a divorce source me or make it slow and painful by staying single and watching your friends leave one by one as they all get married or if you're my husband and i watch all of our friends have kids we don't get invited to anything because we don't have kids i mean we love going to the zoo and love and miss our friends and we do love their children why wouldn't we want to go join a mlm post it on your facebook daily for extra points Sleep with all of their boyfriends, girlfriends and post everything online, with rankings of who was the best. You joke. But I had a semi-friend, who did this. She was dating my friend. And then slept with my now ex-husband and both of his roommates. You suck Tabitha. Pun intended. A staring roll on to catch a predator. Should do the trick. Why don't you just take a seat? Push them out of your life because you feel as if you're being a toxic nuisance to everyone you meet. I didn't expect to be called out like this greater than sad face. You too. Huh. Hey. Just letting you know from the other side, we get it. We know you're struggling. That's why we keep trying. You can keep saying no. But we got you smiley face, just come on out and hang when you can. Edit, I think what you, throw away for pancakes said was really important and factual. And anyone that is reading this comment and it's hitting home should also read his, hers below. I wrote the edit before their comment was top. Finish school and enter adulthood. Oh my. This. Left university and within a short spate of time, months. Perhaps a year or two and nearly everyone and anyone I was friends with in college and university vanished, poof, like magic. Everyone went their own ways and that was that. I moved on and made other friends. Funny enough. Those who I became friends with through work and such I'm still friends with today 10 years on and more. Those I took classes with, went out with, dated, drank with, had excursions with, etc. Nope, not a peep since leaving school and entering the workforce. Get sick with a chronic illness. Being disabled can be a very lonely thing. My husband suffers from chronic pain and is a disabled veteran. He feels lonely and upset because he can't do the physical activities many people our age enjoy. He gets so depressed about it. I have been helping him do more things but we have a care plan, example, camping. But extremely good equipment so he is comfortable and not physically strained. Quality of life is so hard for the disabled. He apologizes for, holding me back sometimes. Truth is it would make my life 100 times easier if he wasn't disabled, but I love him. I love everything about him. I would work twice as hard to the end of our lives if it meant spending every day with him. 1. Realize that you're usually the one that initiates hanging out. 2. Stop initiating to see if anyone actually thinks of you. 3. No one thinks of you and doesn't hit you up. 4. Slowly ghost out of the friend group because you weren't that important anyway. 5. Friends don't notice nor care. Edit, secret step number 6, develop social anxiety as a result and be unable to truly trust anybody. Edit 2, thanks to the random stranger for awarding my social ineptitude with my first ever silver. Also some people have been saying that this happens cause I'd be the initiator, extrovert of the group but tbh I'm like an extreme introvert. I definitely wasn't the leader of the group. Just someone who wasn't invited to everything and was lonely every once in a while. Plus. I grew away from these friends anyway, different interests and morals etc so I've been hanging out with people who are more like me. It worked out for the best, for me at least. Y'all out there stay strong smiley face. Stop paying your bills but still take your roommate's bill money. Use that money to go partying. Don't spend time with any of your friends for any reason. Including major life events. 
unless there is some cool DJ, musician, or party personality in attendance. Always ditch them for something cooler whenever possible. Still short on money. Get some Drew Gus fronted to you by a creepy older drug dealer, musician. Start cheating on your boyfriend with drug dealer to pay for the Drew Gus he fronted you. That you were supposed to sell but did instead. Develop an addiction to this drug. Contract an STD. Stop showing up to work on time. Come up with weaker and weaker excuses as to why you're not showing up on time. Causing your manager, a friend, to feel you're taking advantage of her. Get fired. Run out of money. Get power to house that you and all of your friends live in. Shut off. In July. Deny. 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 Get caught red-handed. Triggering a long period of discovery in which everything is exposed. Run away for a week while your boyfriend and dad move all of your things out of your house. And back to your parents. Call boyfriend saying you're going to heal yourself if he leaves you. Send selfies while driving erratically. Crash car. Get insurance claim denied because you were posting your selfies. Disappear for years. Show up to a birthday party everyone involved except your parents are at. Uninvited. Get sloppy. And try to sleep with your ex who absolutely dumped you years ago. Is engaged. And wants nothing to do with you. Scream grape when you are removed from the function. TLDR, coke is a hell of a drug. Edit, I am good. But ask me anything else haha. Asterisk asterisk second edit, asterisk asterisk. So, my personal feelings with regard to making YouTube videos out of Reddit content is that it's totally legal, fine and should be fine. Because really cool new stuff can come from the recycling of content, but making stupid clickbait is. In general, not something I respect for various reasons. With that being said here is the clickbait this has become. YouTube.com. I'd like to thank all of you for helping to make this happen. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit flattered even if the creator and I really don't see eye to eye on this one and I don't think he respects, understands the actual sentiment of the story. Asterisk third edit asterisk. First message. Hey I make shitty clickbait credit content and just wanted to let you know I thought your story was amazingly funny and really tragic. Have a drug history myself so seen Drew Gus duck everything and made a video out of it. Hope you don't mind. Cheers. After my explanation. Just a condescending weirdo. That's all I'm getting here bud. We get it. You can type words. What made the story funny was you were getting cucked. Ya yeah, so. Go smash that like and cheat. Start dating a controlling, manipulative person. The kind that will lie to you about your friends to drive a wedge between you. Or get back together with your cheating ex-girlfriend for the fifth time after your closest friend emotionally supported. And helped you each and every time you broke up. They tried help you to make positive and healthy choices and then turn around and defend the cheating ex and demanded your closest friend get on board. Thanksgiving should be great this year. Hold them close and lick their ear sensuously. Join ISIS. This seems more like a command. Admit you're a pedophile and ask for their support. I'm a map I'm a map I'm a map. Slowly start to withdraw from the group. When they reach out to you to see if anything wrong insist that you are really okay. But continue to withdraw yourself. You'll start to see your friends going on and doing things without you. And as you really start to recess they'll simply being to regain you as odd. And you'll become that one friend that they only talk to when forced. Basically non-existent to their world. Suffer from mental illness. This. It's actually sad. I had severe depression during my college years and. People aren't always sympathetic. But since you do know you have issues. It's time to go get help. 